Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with myself, Market Analyst David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 25th of October and the time has just gone 1.45pm British Summer Time, London Time. Uh, the chart that we're going to be looking at today is the Australia 200. And first off the bat, let's have a look at the price range. Throughout the summer months, the Australian 200 was largely range bound. Uh, to the upside, it was trading up, uh, up as high as around 5,800, and to the downside, it was trading in, in, down towards the low 5,600. But in this in in this month, it man, the market managed to snap out of the actual uh, of the of the range that it has been in, and has gone on to hit a five month high. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, taking a look now at the MACD histogram. We can see that the MACD histogram was swinging between positive and negative throughout the summertime. And e even when it swung to be the positive side or the negative side, it didn't really move that much away from zero. We only saw a substantial increase in positive momentum when the market actually really rapidly took off in October. But we can see here a very slight decline, but steady decline, in positive momentum. So it's possibly an early indication that the bulls are actually running out of steam. Now, what does all this mean? It means we could potentially see a bit of a pullback. It's quite a substantial move here that we saw in October, so it wouldn't be surprising if the market gave back some of the ground that it actually gained. So we could head back south, back towards 5,858, or even perhaps down as low as 5,827. Notice this gap here that was created at 5,827. There's a possibility that that gap is what's called a runaway gap, and they're often found in the middle of a trend, in this case, an upward trend. Now, one of the myths about gaps is that they're always filled. That is incorrect. They're not always filled. They're often filled, but they're not always filled. So what we could potentially see in the near term, we may see the market retrace, move lower, fill this gap of 5,827 before continuing the wider upward trend that it has been in for the last number of weeks. Should we actually move higher, the first level to watch off, off, off for to the upside is going to be the October high of 5,926. Then beyond that, we'll be looking towards the May high of 5,960. And then north of that, uh, the, the, big, the big level to watch out for beyond that, beyond that will be the 6,000 area, a level that hasn't been seen uh, since 2015. That's it for today. Please tune in for a video next week. And thank you very much.